I just can't believe I pulled it off. Yo! What is happening everybody? It's buddy Aaron here. Welcome back to another video. Got your boy over here. I'm pointing at the wrong spot. What's going on, boys? <laughs> Yo, so he decided to spend his day driving way out here to Tampa with me so that we can see if we can finally get the third time charm tune done on the G35. We made it out here. RS Enthalp, we're here. Hopefully all of our issues are fixed. The G might smoke a little bit more. After rebuilding the turbos, it ended up that it was a little too high on oil and still spilling all of the oil out of the uh, out of the turbo seals because it was tough for the for the turbos to drain um, with the oil level being so high. So I lowered the oil level. It still may smoke a little bit. Probably gonna smoke on some rips, but it's fine. It'll clear up. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and unload her. We got her in her new form, all fresh, all clean, no more boost leaks. Everything is ready to go. And I thought once I put the car together that I would be able to rip it. But since I had a crazy blown out coupler, it was tuned with a blown out coupler. So it was used to having a massive boost leak. So now that all the boost leaks are fixed, it's just like too much air, it's too lean. So it's gotta be retuned. So hopefully we hit that 600 today, baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload it right now and uh, we're gonna get in the shop and just, just get straight to it. coming out here I was trying to see what the oil level was at I was trying to get it to a certain amount on the dipstick and I was fixing a little oil leak from my sandwich plate so I think I just filled it up a little bit too high so whatever excess oil will be pretty much coming out the exhaust it's nothing too crazy to worry about and it might clear up after a couple rips but we don't really know so we'll see Like almost like a misfire pop, like you started. I don't know, like on a 
previous bullet did it, and yeah. then I lowered it to 14, it wasn't doing it, then I raised it back up to 15 and started, and I just, like, one little misfire. Yeah. You need to get the coils down, I mean, the, the plugs down a little bit. Either that, or if you've got uh, coils that are original, just replace them. Okay. That's it, really. I mean, it's at, you're at 91% right there on that, that stab where it did 550. 500. So, gap the plugs to, like, what? Uh, like, what you have right now. Oh, I just stock regular. What? <laughs> For NA, that's good. <laughs> No, you, okay, so like whenever you go and do boost, you obviously have to gap plugs. I don't know. Um, so if you're at stock gap, you need to bring that down to like at least a minimum of, oh, for this kind of boost, 028 or 026. It, it doesn't really matter because at this this point, you're pretty much maxing, um, at least on this dyno, because this dyno reads on the very low side. Right. So you're maxing what, what a 1050Xs are capable of. Right, right. So you're, you're you know, like, I would see, I would see probably 600 on another dyno, wow. and that's usually where I stop on a on a on a six speed line, awesome, and 1050 uh, 1050 X's. So no, I'm man, I'm good. super happy with that, man. That's Do you good, think we bro. can add any uh, fun things? Like, uh, I don't know how healthy flame map is for the turbos. I don't know if you noticed, but it cleaned up a lot of smoking. Yeah, after I yeah, stop smoking. Did, did my jabs. Pretty uh, good. Yeah, I'll add them. Just let's cool it down. We'll do one more. Sweet. Uh, one more shits and giggles, let's go, buddy. Yo, <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right, so we're at like we're at like 560 pretty much maximum. We're maxing out the uh, the injectors at 90% um, duty cycle, so we can't really go much more than that. Oh, you, you can, right? So you're not maxing them. So technically speaking, like people will run them to 100, 110, but oh, is it safe? No, I, it's just not a. It's not like most tuners that have been doing this for a while. They'll stop usually in the 90 to. Uh, between 90 and 95 percent. Usually, typically 90 is what we consider a safe threshold. We can go more, but the the coil misfire is going to prevent us from making any more reliable power. We can easily do six, 650 out of this kit on this dyno, and then other dynos would probably be 650 plus in good weather. Damn, bro, that's crazy. You think I could still multiply? You know, hit, uh, use that eight percent versus this dyno versus another dyno. Like if I was going to multiply that yeah, 550 you, by eight percent. If you took, if you took this. If you put this to like STP or like any 3,000 pound roller, yeah. this thing would probably jam out a good 600 right now. I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get that YouTube title hitting 600 <laughs> horsepower. Take it, take it to a 3,000 pound roller anyway. Hell yeah. I just put some, you know, take some traction compound with you. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, okay. Because like it's spot on those dynos. I, was, I wasn't sure if that was the clutch or if that was no, the, uh, yeah. I could feel the clutch yeah. of wheels. I yeah. just do this so often. Yeah, so often, sure. You know, it's like, oh, that's the clutch. Good that's shit. The wheel. These kits are capable as hell, man. Like when I I made on, on gas before I made on really cold weather, I made like 530 on gas. Oh, nice. At like 13 that's psi. Just, that's just below this. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just tell him. I mean, but then again, if this if it was if it was colder and it was uh, if it was colder right now and uh, you wouldn't have that breakup, you'd, you'd be another plus 30 right now. All right, so we're taking a little quick break right now. My stomach is hurting just because, like, I don't know, just so many thoughts going through my head, and like, my I'm just like, like, please don't break. <laughs> Drink some water, stay hydrated, and we're gonna go back in there. We're gonna take a little break, let it cool down. We're gonna go back in there. We're gonna do a flame map. We're gonna shoot shoot some flames, guys. So, but once we do the flame map, we're gonna go take it out, take it out for a rip. So, so far everything's fucking going really good. We're at like 560 on this dyno, which honestly, if you multiply that by the 8%, which we did back on my NA build to try and reach 300 horsepower. Because it's a it's a low reading dyno. It's about eight percent lower. So if we multiply, about it's about five sixty. I saw it hit five sixty a couple of times. Five sixty times 0.08. That's an extra forty four, almost forty five horsepower. So at five sixty plus forty four horsepower, we're at six oh four. So boys, we just hit that six hundred horsepower pretty much, yo. I'm stoked. <laughs> Take it on a rip, boys. First impressions. My stomach hurts. I gotta go take a shit, but let's see what we can do. <laughs> oh 
my god, bro. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera straight. <laughs> oh my god, I know, bro. You you might want to like hold on oh, yeah. or something, bro. seat up because I go all the way back oh yeah <laughs> yeah the fucking neck I want that, that G, the G35 headrest you know we're always chilling terrible design <laughs> seriously bro like I'm always holding my head up I don't know why they have it so far back because you're not supposed to boost your G Aaron it's not supposed <laughs> to put you back there <laughs> Already. breaking loose dude what the fuck dude it's amazing holy fuck <laughs> oh my god yeah, you really, you really gotta look out for dips because those <laughs> Make sure this thing's straight. Oh my god, you have to. You're yeah. still short shifting it too. Yeah, I am. I'm not even letting it go all the way out. Let's see what we can do on this road. walks out in so many gears. All right, yo, huge shout out to Matt. Uh, we're about to um, get back to the house real quick. I'm about to unload the car, uh, maybe rip it up you know, a little bit more, um, take the neighbor for a ride real quick. But huge shout out to Matt. Dude, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you, you for those fucking crazy ass clips. I'll be coming for you. <laughs> yo, I know, dude. Oh my God. We just heard some devastating news on his car. Probably not gonna release any information right now because we're still diagnosing, but his car was ready, completely done. We we're like so stoked to be like 
riding out together. But a um, couple things he's got to work on in his car, and then uh, and then we'll we'll be uh, we'll be making a sick like duet video. So that's gonna be coming sometime in the future. But anyway, we're gonna go right back home and uh, rip it some more. So I'll, I'll meet you there. Yo, dudes, we're back at the house right now, and uh, it's been like a day and a half now. But since we came back, we have already freaking broken the G35. So I can't go take my neighbor on a rip right now because it's broken. Um, but it's all good. Um, I actually already I did take him for a ride. I took a couple people for a ride because I took it to work. Soon as we were pulling back in the neighborhood from giving D Cross Street a ride, um, it uh, the throttle body went out. So I don't have a throttle. I don't have a good throttle body right now. Um, luckily, D actually had a spare throttle body he let me use to plug in, and it works. So I got I, I ordered a new one, and it should be here tomorrow. So maybe we can do something fun with it tomorrow. But on Wednesday, tomorrow's Tuesday. On Wednesday, I'm going to be uh, going out of town. I'm going to be seeing all my family for Thanksgiving, and I won't be back till Friday. So you guys probably won't see any content until next week. Um, but some fire content I got coming out. Um, got some really cool videos I, I want to get going. And I'm also thinking of starting a TikTok. So let me know what you guys think about starting a TikTok and doing some dope videos because we're trying to go viral out here. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get I got to get hip. You know what I'm saying? I got I to get with it. Let me know. And if you guys have not seen the last video because it didn't seem to do too well, we are giving away our Exidy Twin Disc Carbon D Clutch Kit, and we're also giving away a set of LED um, headlights for the G35, the, the last fit LED auto lighting headlight conversion kit, easiest conversion kit to ever do, and it's super bright. So if you guys want to win a nice little set of LEDs or a uh, twin disc clutch of over a uh, $2,900 value, um, except for that it's just lightly used. Then you guys can enter the giveaway by purchasing some merch. Go over to AA-Supply.com and you guys can pick up some hoodies, t-shirts, jet tags, t-shirts, jet tags, air fresheners, AA Supply, jet tags. No, <laughs> no, but seriously guys, every $4 spent on our website gives you an entry to win either the clutch or the LEDs. And I'm gonna be calling you personally, the winner, um, to see, you know, what's good. If you guys uh, are local, if not, then we'll ship it out to you and then uh, we'll go from there. Have a nice little conversation, you know, on, on video for you guys. That'll be pretty cool. So I'm stoked on the giveaway. So it's getting cool outside. Get you guys a hoodie or something. Get some entries to win the uh, the giveaway. And just, just think about it. It's going to be a small giveaway because look at all the views on this video. Think about a fraction of those people who actually have a manual G35, who actually have a G35 or 350Z, and a fraction of those people who are actually going to purchase the merch. It's going to be kind of a small giveaway. This is a small channel. So you guys have a huge chance of winning this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Stay tuned for future content. This thing is a fucking beast. I can't wait to rip it. And uh, we're going to get some reactions in the future. So we'll be back. Anyways, guys, you guys have a safe and awesome Thanksgiving. Have a nice holiday. And I'm going to see you guys right when we get back. And uh, we're going to get down to it. Yo, 2021, we coming for you. Smash the like button. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Look at all the super awesome double A supply stuff that you guys can have. Yo, look at that G35 on there. Yo, look at this jet tag. Thing's freaking sweet, dude. Look at the freaking shirt. The shirt's freaking awesome, dude. And the f dude, the double A supply hoodie, bro. Look, just look at it's so badass, dude. Sweet, dude. Sweet, dude. 2018 EST. You know what I'm saying? And we got the and we got the and we got the G35 on the back of it. Look at that. Look at that rim right there. Thing's sweet. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get you some merch.